Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another 2023 preview and prediction video. Today I'll be doing the Utah Utes, the two time or the two year in a row Pac-12 champion. So let's get right into it. Well, last season Utah went uh, 10 and four with uh, losses to Florida in week one, which looked like a blunder after that, uh, at UCLA, uh, and at Oregon before winning the Pac-12 and losing to Penn State in the Rose Bowl. They had some good wins, including some uh, wins over USC twice in Oregon State. So let's look at the roster and see what Kyle Wingham's got working with. So Cam Rising's back. I don't, I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for the start of the season against Florida, but he's back. Behind him, you have Brandon Rose, who's a redshirt freshman. And if he has a start against Florida, we'll see how that goes. Running back, you have Jaquindon Jackson, Micah Bernard. Uh, those two will be your guys fighting for time. You have Devon Vale and Money Parks at wide receiver, including a freshman, Mikey Matthews, who's projected to start. Uh, tight end, you have Brant Kuth, who, with... Uh, not Michael Mayer, the other one. Oh, gosh. They're tied in last year. I forgot his name. They were very lethal in the passing game. The offensive line, you bring about everybody back, so that's a plus for them. On defense, you bring about all of your guys back that you had besides Clark Phillips. And I believe that was the only guy, unless somebody transferred out. So... All in all, your team is very talented for Utah in the Pac-12. So let's look at the schedule to see how I think you will do. To start, So to start off the season, just like last year, you're playing Florida, but this time at home. It's on Thursday night, and the question is, will Cam Rising be starting, and to what capacity will he be? And with that being the question, I have Florida winning this game. People are down on Florida this offseason, and there's a good reason why. However, I do think that Florida has the capacity to win this game, even without Anthony Richardson. So I'm going to give Florida the win and give Utah its first loss of the season. Then you go on the road to Baylor. Baylor um, is an interesting case. In 2021, they had a great season, but in 2022, they barely made a bowl game. You're playing them at Waco. I think that your offense is going to be enough to overpower them. And I think you have a good enough defense to stop them, at least this early in the season. I think you go 1-1. One and one. Either way, I would have thought you would go 1-1 one one in these games. Um, so... I think you start at 1-1 one one before beating Weber State to get to 2-1. and one. Then you play UCLA for uh, homecoming. And I think you get revenge for last year when they came, uh, when you went to their place and you got beat. So I think you get another win to get to 3-1. and one. Then you go on the road to Oregon State. Now, if this was any other team in the Pac-12, I would say, oh, Oregon State's physicality is going to outrule them. Well, Utah also has a physicality, and they also have a more consistent quarterback by the name of uh, Cam Rising. So I'm going to give Utah the win here to get them to 4-1. and one. Going to the bye week, or coming out of the bye week, they play Cal, and I think they get a win against California before going on the road to USC. Now, this is going to be a tough game. You beat them last year at your house, but this year you have to go to their house. They've loaded up the front seven with transfers, and they have Caleb Williams back. So, I have USC beating you here, and I also have Oregon the next week beating you. It's just a tough stretch for Utah right here. You play at USC against Oregon, against Arizona State, and then at Washington. If you don't get nicked by um, two out of three of them, 
you also have to worry about a trap game with Arizona State. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. I think you get a big bounce-back win against Arizona State. But then you have to go on the road to Washington, and I think you lose that game as well. So at this point, you are 5-4 and four before going – or um, – Six and four before going on the road to Arizona. And I think you get a win there. Um, you're able to play physical against Arizona and get a big win there. And then I think you're able to finish the season with a big win against Colorado. So I think Utah takes a little bit of a step back this year and goes uh, eight and four. Not a bad record at all, but you're just facing off against all three of the top three teams as well as UCLA. Baylor, and Florida. So it's just going to be a tough schedule for Utah. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.